Hi, all you players. So nice to see you. I'm, I was just getting into my crocheting here. I nearly forgot to press the button. <laughs> Freddie's worn out. We've had our walk. Oh, so nice that you can join join me and the chat that's going to come up later. So I'm so glad that you can um, join us today. It's really lovely. Whenever you're going to watch this, I hope that I'm that myself and the chat can be really good company for you, or or be with you while you craft along. There's Alicia. Good morning, Alicia. And I need to say to the people in the USA, happy 4th of July. It's in Independence Day. Happy 4th of July, Beth. <laughs> Beth was telling me she's going to have hot dogs and sauerkraut. <laughs> I hope that um, that you, you, you enjoy your plans today. <laughs> Oh, so nice to see you. And there's Janet B. Janet B is in Canada, Janet Canada. So nice to see you, um, Janet. You had your Canada Day on, when was it? Um, on Friday, didn't you? So that's nice. Good morning, Becky. So nice to see you. Good morning, Susan. You're up early, aren't you? Yes, a cloudy San Francisco Bay. Sounds absolutely wonderful. Mm, the sun's just coming up there because you're in a different time zone, aren't you, Susan? I'm presuming maybe if you're in the States, uh, a lot of you, depending on whether you're in the services uh, uh, industry, but you will be off. I presume, for your national holiday. Mm. You're having watermelon and fried corn on the cob. Fried corn on the cob. Oh, that sounds delicious. Southern, southern fried food, Alicia. Gorgeous. Count me in. Count me in. Oh, and there's a me. Oh, you're lurking from the cabin. And, and the me says a big blanket hello. Oh, replays. I'm, I'll read the chat for you so you feel part of what's going on because <laughs> it's not just Freddie and myself. It's, it's the people in the chat too. <laughs> it's such a lovely group. Becky, you'll notice I'm doing my, as I was waiting, I just this is quite meditative. I nearly forgot to turn the camera to live, Becky, because I was just quite meditative doing my doing my Tunisian stitch. If you want to do the Tunisian stitch craft along, crochet along, come and join Becky and on her on her let me let me write that down there'll be a link down below becky's got other things as well and i'm going to show you those later <laughs> becky becky keeps us busy <laughs> don't you oh there's pam pam and misty good evening pam good evening to a a wintry australia <laughs> so nice to see you pam so nice to see you see you Teresa good morning you're in the you're in the balcony that's so nice so nice <laughs> so nice to see you love to you and Ricky and I hope he's healing every day oh look here comes lovely Barbara oh happy Canada day for Friday Barbara <laughs> so nice to so nice to see everybody <laughs> and there's Karen oh Karen I'll be showing my sewing I was taking in all the advice last week it's absolutely wonderful community it's not just me giving a tutorial here it's it's very real and very raw art and crafts here <laughs> I'm taking all the advice I can get. I love it. <laughs> There's Sue. Good afternoon, Sue. I do trust you and hubby uh, are, are healing well. Are you recovering well? And there's Julia. There we are. We're, we're hitting all the continents now. We're, we've got UK in the house now. I love it. I love it. 
Oh, that's it. A blanket hello to everyone. That's very wise, um, Julia. Oh, a massive beaucoup, says Barbara. <laughs> oh, Dar, so good to see you. Come on in. Come on in. Take a seat. Becky says she's having coffee cake. What did I? I made something the other day. I think I was just experimenting, and Ben said, "Make coffee cake." <laughs> That was his way of saying, yeah, that's very nice, but make coffee cake. <laughs> you can't beat coffee cake, can you? How nice. Enjoy, Becky. Enjoy. So what have I been up to this week? Oh, some one oh, I've been having a wonderful time. I would take you round pan you around the desk later to share some of the projects that I've been doing. But I will start off by I was who was it Anne's sewing journal or one of Mary's boxes that she opened? But she opened it up and inside there was a tag and attached to it was this a gorgeous little paper bobbin charm. And I thought, oh, dangle, whatever you want to call it. And I thought, oh, I would love to make something like that. Love you could make these for any journal. This one is not sitting properly, of course. I need to undo it. It's got like a little dress form, and then I've put pattern paper and some linen and a button there. Look, let me undo this pin. It's not sitting properly. <laughs> There's Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Nice to see you. Come on in. And I've I've got a uh, little. An apology of absence for the minutes here uh, from <laughs> Maria, Maria in Australia. It's late evening, always likes just a now. She, I've been chatting to her in comments, but likes to pop in at the beginning. But it's it's late for her where she is, and she's got an early start tomorrow. So Maria says hi <laughs> to everybody in chat, and she might pop in and see us next week. You take care, Maria. <laughs> yes, there it is. You can see it now. So you can dangle these from any little journal. <laughs> but if, yes, fabric scraps. Yes, absolutely, precisely. Mm. Oh, oh, Barbara. So I'm so glad that you did find find us today. That's really lovely. <laughs> Oh, there's Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn, come on in, come on in. Come and rest a while or wake up. Or <laughs> So some people may have a little cutout to make the little bobbin, but I had, well, I did. Oh, it's gone now. I can't, do you, my, I can't find my glasses. I had them earlier, but let me just show you what, I just drew round a bobbin that I had already. I had one of these plastic bobbins. So I drew round that as a template. I have one on my desk, but obviously I can't find it. Now. Or sometimes you might have threads and ribbons that come on a little bobbin and you could use that as a template. So that's what I'm going to do just now. Let me get... There we are. Let me just get some paper, says she, bending right down there. <laughs> oh, let's get some. I do like, if I'm going to put, I do like to have, if I'm going to put a napkin on, I do like to have. Ooh, that's nice, the butterfly napkin. I do like to have book pages. So nice to see everybody. I entitled today's stream as Create Joy. Isn't that lovely? I was watching one of Cat Cat's videos at Cat Hand, and she she had on her her um channel. I think it was was it some little oh it was her index cards, and one of them said Create Joy with some lovely sayings on them. And I thought oh. That's a lovely saying. I often put create and I often put um, joy on my 
what I'm doing, but I don't usually put them together. So I thought, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh. I'm just layering this up. And let's say this is just scrapbook paper, really. Or you could use any card, but at the back, I won't need to decorate it. There's a method in my madness here. And I'm creating little scraps that we can use later. <laughs> oh, yes, we are glad you're here, um, Barbara Every. We've got Barb and Barbara. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Hmm. Oh, I can't believe it's come round already. It's really lovely. Really lovely to see you. We'll do this and then I will be able to show you what I've been doing on my my collage. Mm. Oh. oh, yes, replays are wonderful things, aren't they? Mm. <laughs> they are. There's Carol. Good morning, Carol. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in and rest a while with us. You might want to just sit and have a coffee with us or start your sewing. And there's gentle listeners in the background too. And Welcome, gentle listeners, and don't ever feel any pressure to join in. If that's fine, it, you are joining in just by being here and just by being you. But don't feel any pressure to um, to chat in the chat or or even comment. <laughs> We're all in different parts of our journey, aren't we? And then sometimes we're on a good part of our journey and then life throws a curveball. Isn't that the case? So, yes. Well, read the chat and we're all we're all here to keep you company. So I've drawn around that. I'm going to keep that as a template. Very handy. I'll draw around that. Cut that out. Have I got some scissors? And I just do, I just do little bits and pieces. These would be great for, oh, you can, I'm going to make my one for the butterfly journal. This is, this is, you can make them themed. You could make a 4th of July one. They don't have to be like vintagey. They could be uh, all in colours. Whatever you feel like. Mm. Oh, you had an aunt called Barbara. Mm. The watercolour birds of Beth's are amazing, aren't they, Barbara? Barbara E, yes, I love them. Cheryl's been um, making some too. Oh, yes. And, and other people probably as well, and I just haven't noticed, sorry, <laughs> that they are absolutely wonderful. They've each got their own little character. There's Pam. Good morning, Pam. So nice to see you. I'm making, you're like this, Pam's a sewer. I'm making little, little bobbin charms today. I've always, I've always liked the wooden bobbins. My auntie Jennifer collects them and she, she collects them. She has the is it the Silco? She has the special vintage drawers, but she says she doesn't use the vintage thread in her quilts just in case um, they're too brittle. So it's always nice to get advice from everybody. Um, it really is. So I'm just cutting it round like this. And I like to, if I make something in paper, I like to think that I can make it in fabric too. So I, from Becky's project, I had all these, well, I made some more as well, some little two inch squares. So I made a little bobbin out of fabric. Now this would look lovely if you're doing the journal scroll. Yes. Oh, I didn't know how long you were going, Barbara. So a couple of months. You're 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 on your travels. Yeah, oh, that's safe travels. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Janet. So I'm so pleased that you can join us this morning. 
Yes. Oh, you will have a wonderful time. <laughs> and we look forward to your return. Yes, sometimes it's hard to return, isn't it? But know that you can return and come back to the community. That would be lovely. I made one with fabric. It's got wadding in between. It's got a little button and I've wrapped some fabric around it. So, and that's some of my painted fabric. So it's a little fabric bobbin. <laughs> Sylvia, good morning. Bonjour, Sylvia. <laughs> Terrible accent, I'm sure. I, I have very little French. <laughs> um, Becky's finished the coffee cake, so your hands are free to type. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Becky. <laughs> oh, just a blanket hello from Becky. Yes, definitely. Do you, you just relax and what are you going to be up to today? Are you going to be arting and crafting the people in the States? Because, Sylvia, it's the 4th of July today, Independence Day for America. Mm. So, um, Janet B, Beth, um, Beth would like your address. If you tell me and um, I can pass it on. Oh, Bobbin Charms. Thank you, Karen. Well, like anything else, it wasn't my idea, nothing original um, here. It, I saw it, made a mental note. I usually like to say who I've seen things. You know I like to link videos, but I must have seen it when I didn't have a notebook handy. But I just think they're very cute. So this one's a little bit bigger there. Let's put a hole in it. <laughs> there, like that. So you can make them out of fabric or paper. And you can make, um, you've seen me do this before, you've seen me with the big one and then I wrap my trims and ribbons round ready to make tags. And then somebody gave me, Laura gave me this and I always make sure I draw around them before I use them. But I thought that would make quite a nice journaling card as well. You can probably get templates online for that sort of thing, can't you? Mm. You're going to be do, doing your striped Tunisian pearl today and sewing and lending a hand to Scott if he needs help with the bathroom project. So a busy um, holiday day for you, um, Scott, Becky. Yes, yeah. And it's hot. It's probably hot for him to work as well. Here's my butterfly journal. So I'm going to make this, this one to pop in my to pop in my butterfly journal so i've got the journal here it was an envelope from deb ferrell and i'm so enjoying i look i love the sound and the feel of it it's a nice size so it's it's just literally papers and got some lovely things i think i've shown you everything in here. Sue, you're there waking up in San Francisco. This is the page from your happy mail. <laughs> I'm going to be adding more um, things. But let me see. What, when I do a journal, there's the journal. But I also make a little envelope of things. So as they come in, this is nothing new. It's nothing different. 90 Fahrenheit. That's very wow. We. This morning it said it was 63 here. It'll probably go up to 65. It's just very pleasant here. Yes, oh, look, the bridge, says Susan. <laughs> so I, I have a little envelope. This is an envelope from Kathy D. And I just, as I collect, this is my Butterflies and Blooms journals. I collect little bits. I put them in here so I can, so everything's handy. So I've got some tissue paper here that Kat gave me. And I'm going to put this on my bobbin like that, making sure the flower's at the top because this is the bit that shows because we're going to cover this up. Oh, we're going to cover it up. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to cover it with. I thought it would be nice to make something while we, we were together. I don't know whether you noticed this little pickles. Good morning. Come on in. 
hello to you and your little cat. I can't remember your little cat's name. Oh, so nice to see you. <laughs> Come on in. There we are. And then I'll, I do love with tissue paper or napkins to have the book page, the book page behind it and it shows through. It gives another little layer. I'll just cut this out. Now you'll you'll notice that I made you may have noticed that I made a process video, not a tutorial, in the week for my ATCs. Hi Val, good to see you. Oh come on in. How lovely. Oh. <laughs> oh, I missed I missed what your cat was called. A little bit Nala. Oh yes, that's right. Oh yes, she can be a little so and so, can she? <laughs> Oh, look, there's Freddie. Let me sit back. You don't, you don't want to see the bobbit, what I'm making. You just want to see, you want to see Freddie. So if you have any other ideas, I'm, the, the idea of me doing the process video, just an idea, is that we can still talk. I, I can, we can still, I can still show my face and we can interact, but in the you know in the comments but I, I I put the camera closer down and it means that you can see what I'm doing more and I just chat about what I'm doing more than I do when we're on a live because when I'm on a live I don't want to miss anything you say you just purchased that tissue paper on Friday and saw a video of using tissue paper instead of napkins ah yes it well it's nice to use both isn't it Barbara what was the advantage they're smoother maybe the tissue paper did they say there was an advantage I've done the whole hadn't I? I don't know why I did that before so he is chilled he's had a good walk He's a little bit below par, though, because he had his yearly check and I got him. He had the injections. Bless him. And I, I got him to have the kennel cough injection. Not that he was going to a kennel, but I thought he mixes with a lot of dogs and I thought it wouldn't do him any harm to do it. You watch Barbo in doing paper paste and wondered how to make it from stuff around the house rather than buying a packet. Barbara Every. Mm, pa paste paper. Yes. What could you use around the house? Yes. Um, well, Barbara, back in the day, we used to use wallpaper paste, if you've got any of that in, but you need to make sure the wallpaper paste hasn't got um, antifungals in, or maybe that's just when you're doing with children. No, you would have to be careful of yourself. Use laundry starch used laundry starch there we are in the chat so yeah let me i will link that video because that looked fun didn't it barbara um barb owen paste paper paste paper it looked and um thank you becky for that tip laundry starch wonderful idea oh cellulose powder I am not even sure what that is. Um, that's interesting. That's interesting. I won't, I can't write everything. I will, because I'll review my chat and I'll pick those up afterwards. But I do want to put the links in. Good morning, Sherry. Really nice to see you. No, Barbara Every hasn't got laundry starch or wallpaper paste. Thank you. And there's a link here in the chat. Janice, Janice is, Janice, it's not a work day, hopefully. Or do you have to go in and work because you have to do bills and things like that? Tell me you don't have to work today. Um, lovely, lovely Janice. Mm. Oh, in paste paper. Um, yes, Bob, but every, every got can get liquid starch from Walmart and mix it with your paint. You've done that before. Yes, yeah, yes. The 
because I think, it, yeah, the, I know what you mean is there's something in the house because as children we used to make glue out of flour, didn't we? But I think we have to be quite careful of things just going a bit yucky, don't we? Mm. You did, Barbara, every... Oh, as, as I said that, you did see flour and water. Has anybody had any luck with that or does it go a bit yuck? I'm not sure. I'm just making some ribbon to go round my... Just because I can. <laughs> it just seems, yeah. Bob Owen is trying to get a. Yeah, when it dries, yes. Let me just get a brush out. Ah, oh, so nice to be here with you. Really is, really is. And you replay us too, and gentle listeners. <laughs> oh. I love it. I haven't missed anyone, have I? So, is we if we can think of some other things, we will let you know, Barbara. We will have to do some research, won't we? Yeah, from that paste paper because that did look good. Sometimes maybe we could get things. Yeah. Oh, look! I've run out of yellow. This is my silk paint. I had it for a project oh put my apron on Pam you're not there to remind are you there to remind me to put my apron on I'm just about to use paints <laughs> liquid starch is a substitute and it's in it's inexpensive yeah good idea Janice do you speak French hmm happy 4th of July Gail Gail C Ah. <laughs> happy holidays to all you lovely ladies and gentlemen in the states <laughs> so nice to see you I'm, I'm running a little out of colors but this is silk paint uh, this is i this isn't silk though this is just the you know the edges of the fabric that you take off and this is oh lovely how nice. I'm just going to do a little bit of gentle painting. <laughs> I'm making ribbon to go on my bobbin. That's what I'm making. Let me show you what I do. You, you've seen me do this before. Pam, I did. <laughs> it pays to tell me off sometimes because I do remember it, in the week. I thought, oh, I must put my apron on. Pam said. Hmm. Liquid starch says bear. Um, thank you. Oh, 2015 with Barb Owen when she did the first video on paste paper. You were there, Becky. That's amazing. I'm a new listener to um, Barb Owen. Yes. Mm. Hand painted ties. Did I say I make? I'm making hand painted ribbon. Um, Teresa, yeah. Um, I use this. It's called gutter or gutter. It's it it's used by in in watercolor. You put it on, and it it means you don't use to you need to use white. It leaves a space, and you can rub it off. But in silk painting, you make an outline. And can you see that the, the paint doesn't bleed outside the lines? But you've seen me use it before. But it's always nice to revisit some of you know, what you... Always nice to revisit things. Do you know, look, there's some paint in there. Don't waste that. Let's just... Pop some of that. See if it. I just make some circles, just because I can. There we are. There. There. I'm missing the yellow. I'm a little bit stumped without the yellow. I'm wondering whether I put it just in a pile in that basket full of stuff over there or not. Ooh, purple. Let's have some purple. Hmm. On class notes from the video. Oh, there might be ideas there. 
gosh, thank you so much. I don't think I'll put that in the top. Thank you so much, Becky. So if you do get the chance to get some of these paints, they're great for painting on your fabric or your scrolls. And you can, what I've done when I've been doing my fabric as well, Hi, hi, Krubby, Krubby the Beagle. I think this is your first time here, isn't it? Welcome, <laughs> welcome. This is great, you can write with this as well. I don't know how waterproof it is. That would be something to, well, see, he's got a little bit of a cough. If you've got a cough, Freddie, like a little bit of a strider in his throat. Yeah, yeah, Oh, um, Thank you, Mods, for um being here um yes so what am i doing if you get a chance to get get this it's if even if you just get this this gutter or gutter is that how you um is that how you pronounce it janice gutter gutter it's good for your look that up for your watercolor painting mm. So there we are, I'll have to let this dry, but this ribbon, for instance, can go on my bobbin. How lovely, and to make the green, I've got blue, I'm going to have to find my yellow, probably when this is finished. Mm. There we are, let, let me just use that up there. There you go, just adding a little bit of colour all the time. <laughs> there we are. I just wanted to remind you, and I'm going to be making some, some fairy wings with that as well. So I'll put that paint there and I'll be using that again later, later this week. It's very important to use distilled water. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So it doesn't go off. Yes. Thank you, Becky. Good advice. Yes. I know. Poor little Freddie. I think it's just that. So, it, yes. So there, there's that. Let's find a pin. And I've got the ribbon, but I'm painting that, so it's not quite ready yet. But let's just get a, let's just get a pin. I've got, I've got different colours here. I haven't got... Oh, I have got a blue one. Ooh, look at that there. A lovely blue safety pin. Mm. This is a herb jar. I don't know what herb it is. It, it smells aniseedy, so it's really quite nice. <laughs> really lovely. <laughs> there we are. And I'm going to pop that just there. Pop that on, and because that ribbon's not ready, let's see if I can find something to wrap round. Let's see, butterflies and flowers. Are you like this? When you find you, then you, have I got any ribbon with flowers on or fabric with flowers on? I'm going to just go to my trusty handy bobbin here. Yes, I'm gonna put this round for now. I'll need to find a charm. How lovely. This is vintage fabric. I wonder who gave me this fabric. Beth, was this in the fabric that you gave me? It's really, really lovely. I have a little, I have a little. He's a, he's a hospital visitor, little Freddy. There we are, and just got some ribbon round it. And let's see if I can find a little charm. I'm going to put a pin there because I will put a button on it. I love to put buttons on everything. I will sew a button on. Let's see, where are my charms? What charms have I got? <laughs> I've got charms and bits and pieces in here. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, well, he's had a nice little walk, bless him. And he runs around like mad. <laughs> I'll take a video of him running around like mad. Oh, did anybody say of any process videos that they'd like to see a little bit closer at what I what I do? Any anything that people have thought, oh, I wish I could see closer when she's doing such and such. Any process videos that you'd like me to do? I think I'm going to add a key. I do like, I do like that. <laughs> ah, there we are. He, I was hoping to get back to Freddie's job because he is just amazing at it. It's the local psychiatric hospital. But I'm, we have to be kind to ourselves and I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not in that space at the moment. Mm. I belong to, um, yes, I think so, Barbara. I'm, I can't, I can't quite remember what, ah, oh, I, I will let you know, Barbara, what I belong to. Um, pets in therapy. I, there, there are two, aren't there? And I, yes, I do belong to one. I have a black and yellow uniform and so does Freddie. <laughs> Oh, there's Elizabeth. Good morning, Elizabeth. Happy, happy 4th of July. I do hope you're with your lovely family. And yes, oh, so nice to see you. There's Becky W. Any plans? What are your plans for um, the 4th of July? Happy 4th of July, Becky, to you too. Hmm. So there we are. I've got popped a little key on it. And because I haven't got any more sewing e charms, but oh, this one was to go in my butterfly and bloom journal. Hold on, so let's see if I've got a butterfly. Let's see. You can always message me if you think there's any um process videos that you'd like me to do. Oh, I have got a butterfly charm, so let's take the key off. I had forgotten. <laughs> oh. I'll pop that in there. Yes, so as I was saying, I have a, a full week um, looking after paperwork and my mum this week. And last week was a rest and restore week for me that I took to um, rest and restore. <laughs> I'll show you what I've been doing during that time. And it's it's becoming apparent that at the moment it's not, I, I'm not in a, I'm not in the part of my journey where I can take Fred to be a therapy dog at the hospital. But there's a time and a season for everything else, and hopefully he will come back. It would be, oh, if you could just see him being a therapy dog. He is amazing. And he goes and he sits at their feet. He's just so... And after about 20 minutes, he gets up. And he goes towards the door. He's had enough. They have to be on the lead all the time. It's a very controlled environment, but he, he doesn't need that. But I. It, but he he tells me when he's had enough. Mm. And Beth's dog Abby used to visit in the children's home. Mm. Oh, Barbara used them in your work with disabled young people before you retired. Oh, is it, is, was it the ones in the yellow and black uniform? I, I can't remember, just dogs as therapy. Yeah, couldn't remember the name. So there's my little charm that I've made today. I'll put in a, um, they'd be great for your journals if you've just come in. Just draw around a little bobbin that you, one of the little plastic bobbins or, if you haven't got time to do it now, just make a little note because sometimes you're too tired or you're doing things. And when I've been in that situation, I have a little notebook by the bed or by the settee and I make a little note of some of the things that I'd like to make. Sometimes that's just as good as making them. Or you could draw around bobbins that you've got from cotton. And then you it's ready then to put in your journal. Let's try and find a space for it, shall we? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Abby, we're just talking about therapy dogs and we're saying that Abby 
Abby is a therapy dog, isn't she, Bear? <laughs> I'll put it on the outside so it can be seen at the back. So it makes the back of the journal nice too. There we are. I was thinking, as you do, you know, I love it when our minds get full of crafting and art because I thought, I was thinking, I'm enjoying doing this butterfly and bloom journal so much. I thought, I thought to myself, this could just make a signature and I could do one of those hidden spine journals. This could be one signature. And I've got more envelopes that people have sent me. So I could make another signature. This one's from Demi. I could make another signature from this. So watch this space. <laughs> it's just, just little bits of paper in it because I don't want it to come to an end. That's why. Mm. Yes, you're you're traveling. Oh, Jana, we're wishing you safe journeys on your on your travels. Oh. Mm. Oh, there's a link to free printable bobbins. If you have a printer, you can print them off. Thank you. That's very that's very helpful. Thank you, Becky. So I'll pop those in there. So that's lovely. Let me let me walk you through what I do when I'm having a rest and restore week. <laughs> oh, there's Candy. Good morning, Candy. So nice to see you. Come on in. Oh, mm. um, Marion says your team patients at Yale Medical School Hospital would have loved Freddie. Oh, they would. Some some visitors. Go, you have reading, some can be reading dogs, and yes, and some can go into works and colleges. They're just very calming. Uh, because I thought Freddie has um, an affinity to people with epilepsy, and, um, and then my love of mental health issues. I, I just thought um, it would be lovely. See, this was pre COVID. <laughs> But I will, I will get back to, I will get back to all these things. So I've got this lovely paper. I can use that for something else. I'll drop it down there. <laughs> so what do, what, what have I been doing to relax and restore? Obviously, I've been making those bobbins. That was, that was fun. I've been hooked on. Do you remember Journey gave me the. The washi tape with the heads. <laughs> and I made the fairy, the fairy cards. Every time I've been, I take my crafts out to the garden and to, on our walks and into the lounge. But when I come here, every time I came to the desk, I made a little card. But I started to, I ran out of washi tape heads I there were four and um thank you <laughs> um I I looked up that's it's a long way away from you isn't it it's a big country Canada isn't it yes yeah then loved driving in cat in um in in Canada mm. Barbara appreciates the spool Bobbin or spool is another word, spool. How interesting, of course. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Oh, pickles, thank you. So now I've been making them. I've been almost put that when I was, I don't know, I don't know where I put them. Hold on. Um, are they in here? The little heads, they started to. Oh, I don't know where they are. They started to be people. So I've been, um, I don't know whether you recognise who this one is, for instance. I don't know how easy it is for you to see. I'm not going to embarrass everybody by telling them who it is. But this is our lovely Rebecca. There's her in her little on her vacation. And this is someone else in our community. I'm not going to. They, I want them to be surprises for people when they popped through the door. 
there's a little story that goes with that one. And oh, Porter said to me, right. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sylvia. She wanted the word to be with these fairies to be dance. Isn't that a lovely word? So I wrote that down straight away and I typed out on my little typewriter dance. I thought that was a super, super word. These are people, these are all members of our community. <laughs> See if you recognize without me telling you who this is. <laughs> It might be quite unrecognisable. <laughs> oh, Alicia. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara, for saying that. I'm just going to say that there's two little dogs in this family, and one's called Abby, and one's called Nora, Abby and Nora. <laughs> so don't maybe Beth's fallen back to sleep so there's Beth and Joe so I'll pop that into her letterbox and there's another little one here <laughs> oh dear so every time so now I've got a little conveyor belt of little wings and faces <laughs> going so you know you know me um if you can make something in paper <laughs> Sylvia says, ombre. <laughs> oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. And if you can make something in paper, you can make it in fabric. So I have been painting out with that gutter or gutter, and I'm going to be silk painting some fairy and then drawing out some faces, and I'm going to make a fabric one. So um, that might be here next week. <laughs> you never know. Let me make a pile of things now, as I've shown you. <laughs> oh dear, I'll pop those up there. So the other left over from our project, I've been making fabric twinches. Janet USA, come on in. So nice to see you. Come on in. Ah, oh, if anyone wants to make the crochet along Afghan, like like this one, the link is there. That's a Becky, um, an Aunt Bex project. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. I so enjoyed doing it. <laughs> so enjoyed it. Or if you want to learn the Tuscan stitch as well, go to Becky's channel. Yes, brilliant. Mm. Oh. So, yeah, I had some two inch pieces left. So I've just been making twinches. And I was I was doing this, listening to Beth, maybe Thursday. And I had on my bedside table, one of these little bracelets had broken. And I was just sewing away. And I thought, oh, I haven't got any beads up here. Sewed on the beads from my... Um, broken bracelet and one of the fabrics at the side said summer sunshine this is the name of this fabric isn't that a wonderful name mm. thanks Janet mm. oh pickle says hold on hold on I can just about make things in paper <laughs> I don't want to stop making things in fabric I hear you. Oh, no, absolutely no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> there we are. Let's, let's pop that there. That's what I've been doing. You stick to your paper and you stick to your gentle colouring. You stick to what helps you at the time. Yes. Let me show you, though, my sewing. You can close your eyes. Close your eyes for this bit. <laughs> Pickles, don't. <laughs> Let me show you what I've been doing. So, Resting and restoring, restoring this week. Yeah, we have to find what works for us. Mm. <laughs> what was the upcycle? The cute upcycle. Is that the fabric with the twinches? Oh, the cute upcycle, my broken bracelet. You could say it was a little bit lazy, Pickles, because I could have mended the bracelet, but I thought, 
wooden beads would just look nice there. So this is another Becky. Linda, nice to see you. Come on in. It's your first time here. You're from Kentucky, USA. So from myself here in the UK, I'm here to wish you a happy 4th of July. And there's some American friends and Australian friends here <laughs> to wish you a happy holiday. <laughs> and French, sorry, don't forget me. <laughs> and Canadian. Mm. Oh, OK. It Was it Beth that wanted your address? I think it was Beth. Um, or Barbara, Beth and Barbara. It, 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 I've got permission to give your email address. Email address for Janet B. I make notes. <laughs> oh dear, if you haven't been here before, welcome, welcome. And I make notes. Oh, Linda. Let's give Linda such a warm welcome. Come on in, come and join us. <laughs> we work in paper, <laughs> but we also work in fabric, mixed media, and anything. <laughs> anything goes. Oh, that's a pleasure. Mm. And Dawn from Scotland. Yes, Dawn might be watching too. Definitely. Sherry. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming um, Linda in. Thank you, everybody. So this is another project. I'm sure that um, I will leave link in the description box. We've been this is another Aunt Bex creation project. We made our we had prompts. And we made, I had an old sheet. So mine's smaller than Becky's, but it's just what I had at the time because I used so much up for the other project, but that's fine. Oh, Linda loves paper and fabric as well. <laughs> that's a pleasure, Janet, pleasure. So I've been experimenting this week with the Shishiku stitch. and. Oh, is Crafty Karen still in here? It, Crafty Karen, are you in the background? Because this is the stage I need to say thank you. Because I learned so much from last week's stream when you were sharing that if you start in the middle, because I had a lot of puckering, didn't I? There you are, still here. Mm -hmm. So I was able to draw lines with my pen that... It keeps lagging, doesn't it? Sorry, that that disappears. And I'm sure if you were Japanese and had learned to do this as a craft, it, it's it's wonky. And I did veer up a little bit. I'm I've got a lining here that gorgeous, so retro that fabric, isn't it? It's not vintage, but it looks vintage. So. That's um, that's what, oh, there's Malaya. Oh, Malaya, how are you, dear? How are you? Come on in. I hope you're okay. It's not easy being not very well when you're a mum. I know. So, I, yes, you, you wouldn't believe just this little bit. So I'm going to do the other side. This is, that's hours, hours of stitching. Probably. Thanks, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Becky. Thank you. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you. Um, I know I can't remember what I was going to say now, but it did take a long time, but it just seemed, it seemed, I found myself doing it. So don't ask me why I chose to do that. <laughs> Then the other therapeutic thing I did was, do you remember I'm showing this? Um, ah, lovely, thank you. You're on the other side now, Malaya. Take it easy as you go, because I know that you don't want to rush back into things. Oh, easy, e easier said than done when you've got the children. I know, I know. Mm. Karen, it is for me, 
I find the slow stitching relaxing. So I spent an afternoon, it's how you look at things. I, I unpicked everything I showed you last week where I had gone and put the fabric on the top. This is my quilting, it's a quilting block, so none of this is going to run. Um, and I'm going to have a toucan on it if you if you just come in and you don't know, what is she doing? Um, but I learned so much from doing the little bag that I've, yeah, that, that it took me all afternoon to unpick all of last week's, but I thought, let the attitude of mind, I thought, don't think of it as a negative, just think of it as just repetitive and positive, just taking that out because it was far too puckery because I had, unbeknownst to me, I, on advice from Karen and others here, I had gone around the outside and it had got all puckered, but I was advised to take that those stitches out and start from the middle and work up and to base. Now, I think some people can have a, a spray basting, do they? Some people call that frogging. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> do they? Oh, I'm among friends when I do that. I know lots of people unpick, even the most experienced quilter. So I basted this to the to the back but I've decided to do a shishiku stitch on this as well if this wasn't going if it wasn't going in the wash I'd put netting over it because it was meant to be a collage and I think hopefully this just putting the these um, shishiku stitches on that's going to knock it back a bit but of course it's going to build up with all the other layers and I will come back to you um, with progress and ask your advice when I get to the next stage before I go ahead good morning Stacey so nice to see you so nice to see you come on in Stacey really nice to see you and happy Ray how lovely to see you. It's always lovely to see you and Lizzie together. Yeah. Mm. So that's yes. But it, oh, yes, another little bit of advice. So I thought, because I was veering up, I decided to mark with my ruler. If you can see all along the edge, I've marked. And then I've even put numbers so I can draw my little lines and join them up so I, it doesn't go wonky. <laughs> I'm sure it's going, it's going to be perfectly imperfect. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing this week and I have found it very relaxing when I wasn't making little fairies or taking this one out. Um, I think Fred is trying to tell us something, isn't he? Can you notice the move in Freddy there? <laughs> Those people that know are pretty well. Oh, look, there's the plastic bobbin that I drew round. It's under the card. <laughs> Little Freddie knows what time of day it is. <laughs> it's, a, it's my form of shishiku. I, yes, I, I was talking to Sam about it, saying probably the people, the, in Japan, they have an apprenticeship to do it, don't they? Thank you, Becky. Thank you. And I thought it was worth it was worth spending the time to undo it to do it properly. And I didn't feel demotivated by it. I just I just got on with it. <laughs> oh dear. What have we got today? I'm getting my snack out. Probably. Probably the time if you're if you want to get a snack, go ahead. We'll um we just we'll wait for you. Oh happy fourth of July, Ray. So nice to see you. Stacy, I, I you may have told me before. I can't remember whereabouts you come from. There's my Dorset tea. 
Oh, it smells so nice. It's called strawberries and cream. Mm. Yeah, that's right, Marilyn. Mm. Yeah, did you see that? Um, he knows the rhythm of the stream. <laughs> oh, there's Sherry. Oh, hmm. No, oh, I can't. I missed what you said. I must say, oh, you're from North Carolina. And, and Becky, Aunt Bex is from South Carolina. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're going off for a walk, are you? Oh, Barbara, if I miss you saying goodbye, um, thank you for popping in. Let me, let me just wipe my hands. Uh, let me see. Where's Freddie's? Let's get Freddie's treat first. Where is that? It's here, don't worry. That Freddie better be, he says. You can see him licking his lips in turn. Even before, how do they know? It's how do they know things? I know, I know. It's your snack time first, isn't it? How's your little throat? Hmm? Yeah? Sorry. Oh, you're going to get down, are you? Oh, all right. Oh, big stretch. Are you going to show people how you can sit down? Oh, you're right. Oh dear, I'm not going to make you sit down. Got a bit of a cough, haven't you? Are, they, are these going to make you cough? Oh dear. It's just little bits and pieces in here. We need, we need to chop this up, don't we? Nice. Do you need to go and get a drink? Oh dear. Come get a drink. Oh dear. I know. Come and get a drink, darling. Look. Come, come. Look. Ready, look. Come and get a drink, darling. No? Oh, I'm still wagging your tail. Come and drink. Come get a drink, darling. Yeah? Aww. Oh, poor little Fred. <laughs> He's got a little cough. Oh dear. I don't know. Oh, you come and sit back up again now. That's it. There you go. You come and sit back up here. There you go. He's, you're approving of the, yeah, he approves of the crochet. He really does. <laughs> he loves a crochet blanket. Oh, mm. there we are. Right, let's wipe, wipe my hands. I have made. I haven't made anything American. I've made something British today. Something very, I've made a Victoria sponge. <laughs> so if you want to slice, yes, just help yourself. <laughs> it's just sponge and jam. You can have raspberries or, or um, there we are. You can have that in it but I just make it plain and I tend to make the you what they're called sandwich tins flat tins and I tend to make you get you make two and you put them together but I tend to just fold one in half and that means when Ben comes home on Friday if he's well enough what I will do is then I'll make one with strawberries and cream I'll put the other half in the freezer <laughs> thinking ahead thinking ahead Let's just move all this up. Let me pull my tea out. Mm. Whipped cream would be nice, Janet. <laughs> Milty but nice. It was me trying to be semi-healthy. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're this, you're saying where about? I haven't heard of any of those places. Um, um Stacy. But I do know North Carolina. Only from the map. I haven't been there. There we are. That's my hot water from my flask. <laughs> Yummy licious. <laughs> oh, a little song. That's our song of the day from Barbara. I don't know. Do I know the words? Mm. <laughs> do I know the words? Do I know the tune? Barbara will send me the link. <laughs> and we've got our mug of the day. For anybody that's a cat lover there, look at that. We used to have a black cat. Abs he was absolutely...
adorable and we loved him to bits. Um, let me move this because you can't flow, move up a bit because you can't see your, can you see Freddie's face now? That's it. Now, Flo had some happy mail. Let me show you. Do you mind if I show your happy mail, Flo? Look at this lovely happy mail here. This was from Journey. Isn't it absolutely a metal? Oh, there's a little charm somewhere. Why don't you, I put it somewhere safe. It's on the desk somewhere, so I'm going to make you something with it, aren't I? Oh, never mind. Look at this adorable little book that Journey made. Isn't that? It's an altered book. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the colours and the texture in this little book. Isn't it gorgeous? Maybe on one of my process videos, I'll give you a, I'll be able to give you a closer look. Isn't it absolutely adorable? Oh, I love it. Oh, have I missed Cat coming in? Good morning, Cat. Yeah. Don't you just love those safe places? Yes, I thought, I thought I'd put it there. I thought, oh, I just put that little heart that Journey sent there, that charm, so I can make a net. Goodness me, what am I like? Oh dear, oh, I don't know. Isn't it lovely? And it says on it, of course I can't, oh, I'm having one of those days. My glasses aren't on the top of my head, so I'm not quite sure where they are. And it says, I'm not going to be able to read, oh, it's got, Travel and holiday. It's got a little British flag. Oh, there's Cheryl. Good morning, Cheryl. Nice to see you. Oh, come on in. Happy Fourth of July to cats and um and to Cheryl. Oh. And let me just show you inside. Can you just make out the texture? Got a little butterfly. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes, a big hello to everyone, says Kat. I think that's wise and happy for to you, all you American friends. Yes. Mm. Flo is going to need her own bookshelf. That, yes, because, she, yes. Well, I'm going to make her a wardrobe and I could, for, she has journals that people send her yes I could make a shelf for her journals in there isn't it the cutest Stacey I know and the little butterfly oh and it's got a little stamp a little our little queen's head there and it's got live the little words live and travel and some sewing from the sewing machine absolutely and like a little miniature little doll's head. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I don't know why I'm sitting here. Freddie and Flo. I know. <laughs> Freddie and Flo show. <laughs> I shall just go. I know. I know. I know. It is the tiniest journal, isn't it? Oh, dear. And some other lovely happy mail here. We can make some bits and pieces with this, can't we, Flo? She'll be wanting some clothes made with that, no doubt. So you're holding that. Yeah, you're holding that. Wonderful. And I've got a, a lovely, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It came at the, on the right day. It came this morning from Esther Thompson, born in the USA. Isn't that wonderful? Mm. Uh, you started with stained glass and crocheting. Oh, did you used to make stained glass? Or was that the stained glass when you were making those uh, neuro... What, oh, what's that art form? Neuro something art. That looked like stained glass. So thank you very much, Esther. That's really lovely, ATC. And I was just showing people the ATCs, but I'm going to, I've got a box here. <laughs> Kat was, you had your index cards in a box, didn't you? So I put my, I put 
the lid came off. This is from the 70s, loving, loving the colour. Oh, do you think it's 80s? What do you think about that text? Do you think that is 80s or 70s? Hmm, I'm not sure. Of course, I broke the lid. Travelling back here, this is in my dad's office. Doesn't quite, well, it does sort of go on so they don't get dusty, but I like to see them. So I'm, I'm just going to put it like that. And these, because I had my ATCs, I, I used to make little books to put them in. But now these are over the years, since I've been in this community, about three or four years maybe, these are all the amazing ATCs I've got from people. I absolutely love it. Mm. Absolutely love you, you, you keep a daily journal don't you it's it's in, is it instead of scrapbooking now as well elizabeth yeah oh look i'm receiving messages here i just need to i always check because i i if something's going wrong with the screen people will message me <laughs> you created a a beautiful stained glass door for your parents it was a dolphin oh my oh my goodness janet Oh, how talented. Did you go to like night school for that? Yes, you were saying the other day that you used to quilt. Elizabeth, the yes. As we were saying, there's times and seasons. Yeah, you will. You will start again. Mm. Mm. But for now, you have your creative journal and your own style, don't you, Elizabeth? And you are creating and storing memories aren't you so amazingly mm. oh carol sent me a picture of loca watching you and freddie oh because loca i've never done that for them loca likes um watching dogs on television she has her favorite things that she watches can you see freddie oh that's so lovely you never really did scrapbooking yeah it's a, like a form of scrapbooking isn't it Mm, you're because you're sharing um your family mem member memories yes oh Zena, so nice to see you come on in come on in oh are you on a, a rest day today or do you need to go off to work oh so no happy fourth of july Zena. so nice to see you so i'm going to let me take it out of the plastic so I can feel it. Oh, I, I'll do that. I'll do that later in my own time. So I can, I'm going to put that there, in there. It's lovely. And I thought when we get together, I can just pull these out as well and see, and we can look at them. And then I also received an ATC from Sharon Lombard. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't, I don't even know where the camera is. <laughs> Am I like? Isn't that gorgeous? I can see some lovely background, and there's also there's some. Is it paper tape? Maybe gorgeous in the background. It says hello, my darling. <laughs> if you're on Instagram, Laura put a picture up of her um her mum's parrot. Hello, Did it say hello, hello, darling. Does it say hello, darling? Oh, so lovely. So thank you, Esther and Sharon. That is so kind of you. Thank you very much. And some little bits for me to play with as well. Wonderful. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm not sure whether you're all too busy to do prompts today. The, our American friends may be getting things ready, um, meals. and. But if you're not too busy, we'll do some prompts. And yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you've done many, Linda says she's done many crafts through the years, including stained glass. You're retired um, from the Corning Museum of Glass in upstate New York. Oh, Linda, that's amazing. Where are you were a lamp working teaching glass bead making to students i hope i have read that 
properly. Yeah, you were, oh wow, you were teaching glass beads. How wonderful. Linda, have you got a channel that has content on it? Um, no pressure though, because if so, we might like to see some of your work, but no, no, no pressure. As I say, we're all on different parts of our journey. Mm. Mm. Oh, your mum lived in Corning. Yeah, when she was at college. How wonderful. Mm. She worked at a button factory. Oh, we love buttons, don't we? Mm. Yes, I wondered. You're, you're having a, a family cookout today. And there will be, and they'll be here soon. Oh, Kat, have a wonderful time. And I wonder whether you'll be having s'mores at your cookout. <laughs> I remember when we were having a barbecue on the beach when we were in a few years ago in um, St. Ives, and and um, Matt said, "Oh, no, don't eat those biscuits, Auntie Janet. You know, they're for the barbecue." I thought you don't need biscuits. <laughs> barbecue but he was because we don't have graham crackers so we've been using digestive biscuits and then he went, when we were on the beach he showed us how to make s'mores he'd had them at scouts i'd never heard of them before that oh wonderful wonderful have a lovely time cat <laughs> oh dear you're gonna have a lovely time too um alicia oh <laughs> Happy 4th of July. <laughs> oh, let's do some prompts and you can just sit back and relax or um, do whatever you need to do. But we will do some. I have found a page in, in my lovely Q magazine. But I, for me, hamburgers and hot dogs cooked outside on the grill. Oh, perfect. Cooking outside is lovely. We've had one barbecue um, this season, but we'll have to have another one. Mm. <laughs> I'm, if I'm missing some of the chat. Oh, I missed something about ducks. Let me just, let me just nip that back there. Um, your sister-in-law is from Boston. When with her husband and the children to the coming museum and purchased a great gift for you. Oh, how lovely. A family of Gloucester. Oh, that was kind. You cherish that in your collection, don't you, Barbara? How lovely. <laughs> I thought I would use this as my background. I thought, how nice that, that was. And I think I'm going to do my prompts sort of inside. I think if you were doing journaling, you could do that too. So I'm going to stick that down and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Greg's bought fireworks. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, but he will scare the cats. That's the only thing with it, isn't it? Yes. Do you know, Freddie didn't used to be scared of fireworks. I mean, he's not, he's not horribly scared of them but if there were fireworks now going off he just comes and sits right on my feet <laughs> or on on me because he has to be close and you know even when I go to the loo if there's fireworks around you know like at new year he'll he'll come he'll come with me to, even when I enter to the loo oh, okay. so that's what we're going to do you can let's put some gesso lightly on these leave these little bits of the magazine and you could either journal or yeah, so i'm going to make a process video tomorrow um all being well you never know what's around the corner in life do you but um if there's anything you'd like to see me make, let me know. If not, I will just do what's on my desk. That's the thing, I'll plan something, but we just 
go with the flow, don't we, Rayla? Mm. Oh, Becky, you say you're not well. Get comfy in the chair. You, I know that you've got to help. Um, you just know. Oh, right, yeah, no, you have to get comfy in the chair because the cats will be sat all over you. Elvin just acts kind of confused. Is he? Are they? Are they a little bit deaf now, Garen? They can't hear them so much. Yeah, and Obi. Oh, he doesn't care. No, no. Bless him. Is he with you now? Is it, if you're at your computer, he has like a little bit where he sits, doesn't he, girl? And your lovely little Obi. Oh, sending him love. <laughs> sending love to, I, do you know, before we do this, let's just light a candle. Just, uh, let's just have a breathe. Um, sometimes people remind me to light a candle, but I just remembered today. They're sleepy in bed with their daddy. Ah, oh, your little Remy. He couldn't care less, your little pup. He's got, I was going to say he's your new pup, but you've probably had him a year now, haven't you, Elizabeth? <laughs> Let me just light a candle. And we're going to, let's just, do you notice, oh. When I did that, I put my back in the chair. And is your jaw a bit sort of just make sure you're relaxed. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put my feet flat on the ground. I'm going to sit properly. Mm. Yeah, to ground ourselves, Janet B, and to think of our friends. You put that exactly. What I was going to say, thank you. I won't say anything else because Janet B said it all. I will blow the candle out now. And I'm going to pop that there, and that's just to, yeah, just to ground ourselves. Thinking of Kathy D um, today, she, she's had some not so good news um, in our community. And for anybody that's gently listening or replaying, of course, yes, we are all on our different journeys, and sometimes we're going through hard times, I know. Rub your pet with a new dryer sheet. We had a terrible time when Obi and younger. They were afraid. Is that is that a thing, Alicia dear? Mm. <laughs> Janet B, all Janet's think alike. Oh, that's so sweet. The bird song. Do you know, Susan? I was aware of that when the candle was. Yeah. It's it's important to stop sometimes, isn't it? Definitely. Yes, all this is amazing, but whew, just to breathe and stop is important. Mm. Oh, okay, dry sheets have chemicals, yeah. Okay, but it does help. Right, the different people have different ideas, true. Right, I've got my... Mm. Hi Kay, nice to see you. Come on in Kay, so nice to have you here. So nice, we're just about to start our prompt game. It's just something to do in your daily journal or your glue book. Some people have done them in fabric. We could, you could make postcards or just jot them down or just relax back. <laughs> Here's Marty, you're late. No, not at all. Come right in. How are you and how are your eyes healing? I'm just going to shuffle these up a bit. I'm not going to look. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a lot of fun. There's no, there's no right or wrong. You don't have to do them in any order. It, it, it's just something. It's, it's a nice thing for us to be do together. And sometimes people find it quite helpful. Yes, yes. 
two. I am not looking. One, two. <laughs> Honest, three, four. Hold on. Five, six. I did look at this one because this one was on my desk. If you notice, you were checking. <laughs> Marty, how are you? How are your eyes healing? Mm. Yeah, if you find yourself a little bit, you don't know quite what to do, use the not. You might be just doing your own thing. Do your own thing. Chicken wing, as our lovely Laura would say. Laura is has family and won't be able to join us for a little while on our Mondays. But we are still keeping her in our thoughts <laughs> and our hearts. Mm. Mm. Right. The first prompt is I put here on this one, 4th of July. So it means for the people in the States, for your page, um, your art page or your journal page, 4th of July, which I'm sure you'll be doing anyway. And for us that are in the um in the in America, we can do something patriotic. <laughs> How fun is that? If we want to something patriotic or all the colors of your flag or let me see uh, this is my little thing here what have i got have i got anything british or flags surely i've got something from the um queen's jubilee or you'd have thought i might have got myself ready um in the spirit of doing this with you I didn't and here is my summer folder this is full of things from Alicia and and now others let's see if I've got something oh someone said they were eating watermelon oh lovely so that's great that's a journaling card oh I've got something British here it's Wimbledon at the moment quite a lot of you may on the television, British and strawberries. How lovely. I can see a real fruity theme going on here. Anything else? How lovely. You could be scraping some red and blue paint in and some stars and some stripes. Well, that seems to be all that I can find for the minute. For um, I would have thought I'd have got something. I have all these little bits. Was I saving something for my Butterflies and Bloom journal? No. Well, I will use what I can find. And I've got the watermelon. How lovely. And I've got the strawberries. So I'm going to put that on one of mine. Oh, you're making hash browns, says Pam. How delicious. And Kay, um, Kay says she used to, um, oh, you have red, white and blue washi. Wonderful, wonderful. So I'm going with like an American theme here. I'm going with the watermelon. We do have watermelon here, but not, I don't think as traditionally as as you you would have it. I'm gonna save these little bits because why not? They're gorgeous. And let's get some glue. I think that, that's cardboard, so I need a stronger glue, but I don't know where I put it. Just having one of those days. Well, I shall use this glue then. Yeah. Yes, washi tape. Brilliant idea. Yes, just, some, just something patriotic or holiday-ish, or if you're not in the in the states. <laughs> Homemade ice cream. Mm. Oh, there's Laura. Laura. I just said you would you wouldn't be joining us. Um for a while on a Mondays. Oh, but of course, 
you because it's the 4th of July, happy 4th of July, you, you're at home with the family. And I, I, I think I was it a, a post on Instagram or you were saying how much you were enjoying your time with the family. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Got a little fairy here. Um, and she says, where, where is my fairy that says dance? Oh, look at her. Look at that little fairy and she says dance. <laughs> um, do you know, Rebecca came in earlier. Did I say hello to Rebecca? You are home because of the holiday. So nice to see you. It's been a huge blessing to have the family there. I bet, I bet. Did I say hi to Rebecca when she came in earlier? Mm. Oh, apple pie and drove my Chevy. <laughs> I must get some watermelon. Wow. <laughs> She'd love to have some watermelon. So that's my little nod to my American friends. I don't think I've got any American washi tape, but I have got some stars. Where did my stars that Aunt Bex gave me go? Hmm, I've got some stars. So I have got the stripes. Oh, I could make the stripes, actually. Do they go in this jug? Do you know when you end up with lots of little pots with bits and pieces in? No, oh, I can't find them. I will find those later. What I do when we finish here is I add lots of bits and pieces as well, some doodles and bits and pieces. <laughs> oh, Laura's saying, Laura's saying a blanket hello to everybody. There's Jean. Good morning, Jean. So nice to see you. Come on in. You're on holiday today. Happy 4th of July. Oh, so nice to see you. Oh. Hmm. Oh, oh, how interesting. I do like this one. I think that Sylvia is going to like this one very much. Make a mushroom house. There we are. Make a mushroom house. Oh, how delightful. Let me put that so there's no glare on it. Right. What am I going to make a mushroom house from? Oh, fun, fun. Let's get this book out. <laughs> Make a mushroom house. What fun. You could done find one on a sticker or download one. You don't have don't think that you have to. You I love that. Don't think that you have to draw one freehand you can all this is Laura's idea um you can always look up on google simple drawings can't you and get ideas for um that's the bit now I just need a stalk oh fun 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 these are, these are just wipe off papers oh is this this is a piece of Alicia envelope here I'm going to use, ooh, yes, I love that. Um, how do they go up there? Oh, they're, I'm sure that's a piece of you, Alicia, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Mary, happy 4th of July. Thank you so much for coming in. Really lovely to see you. Have a lovely day. Have a really lovely day. It looks like you're celebrating. Oh, have a lovely holiday. <laughs> a holiday day. There we are. I'm loving that. Let's put a little bit of background on here. I've got glue. I'm just going to put a little bit of background on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, it's quite green, but there we are. It's in the forest. Oh, how appropriate. I've got like a foresty background, and now I've got my mushroom house. How lovely. I'm just going to stick it in. 
Oh, Peter. Oh, you're up late, Peter. Peter's from Australia. Hi, Peter. Come on in. How are you? It's lovely to see you. Peter's had his Monday already, haven't you? You're just settling down for the evening. There we are. And here's the top. Do you think we need a fairy, don't we, to live in this mushroom house? I'm sure. Or you might have a mushroom stamp. There's Meljoy. Oh, so nice to see you. Oh, so lovely to see you. Oh, won't be long and you'll be you'll be here with us in person. That would be really lovely. No pressure. <laughs> if mushrooms, Melanie loves mushrooms. That was one of our prompts. Um, as you can see, I don't think you can go far wrong making a mushroom. There is no right or wrong. <laughs> They're just whimsical mushrooms. Oh, oh, it's half past 12. Oh, yes. But you, you just came in to say hi. So nice to see you. And you'll probably be relaxing down now and getting some, some rest. Oh, we'll, we'll stay with this for a while. We'll say... We'll say good night to you and sleep well just in case you fall off to sleep peter <laughs> so nice to see you <laughs> yes you love mushrooms and and um and and you collect rabbits as well don't you did i tell you i'd started um melanie did i tell you what i'd started drawing um collect i'm making a bunny rabbit now not to be journal not to be outdone by you you see <laughs> Oh dear, your one is adorable though. You have shown us all, haven't you? So nice to see you. There we are. Just something quick, but I'm going to do round windows in my... Because of course we can come in later and do some more doodling. I'm going to do a triangle window. If you, if you grew up in the was it play days we used to have a television program and they used to have um the round window and you had to choose didn't you what was that play days or mm. thank you oh linda you've just had the same as marty how are you healing up um, Marty, I know you were you were in um, a stream the other day, and you said no, I need to go to rest my eyes. That I thought that was yeah. We do need to. You're taking care of yourself. That's really lovely, and I shall be doodling away. So, so my, in my forest, oh, I've got a, a feast. I've got watermelon and strawberries. And there's a little house. I think we'll have to do a little fairy for that later if we have time. Mm. It was play days, yeah, play days, and you used to have, you say, what's through the triangle window? What's through the round window? Yeah, and then they took you on a little journey, didn't they? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cheryl's singing to Maljoy. <laughs> play days, yeah, back in the day, eh? That's what we used to watch. Mm. Or was it our children used to watch that? I can't remember now. Mm. Mm. Oh, you've got your dishwasher on. Oh, for goodness sake. Right. Oh, dear. There's my little, there's my little mushroom house. Just very, very simple. <laughs> there's Dana. Good morning, Dana. Nice to see you. <laughs> Play school. Joe Moore comes in. It was play we used to watch. Yes, the children used to watch play days. We used to watch play school, and then where there was Teddy and Humpty, wasn't there? Big Ted and Little Ted, Humpty, and then where was there a doll as well, a rag doll? Yes, Joe Moore comes in to save the day. <laughs> Good morning, Joe. Oh, afternoon. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's have another prompt. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
No, this is serendipity right here. It says, add a pineapple. And I was so sure I wouldn't be able to find a pineapple. I actually stapled a pineapple to the prompt. Oh, so good luck finding a pineapple. Although having said that, I think I saw one today. In my sticker book, I think I saw one today. And I wouldn't have had to cheat. But I say it's fortuitous because um, Elizabeth grows, Elizabeth's probably got more gently listening in the background because she's busy. Um, but um, she grows pineapples. So add a pineapple. And this is my a sticker book that Ben bought me. Oh, Crafty Karen thought that programme was just in Australia. No, it was British. Oh, it was, I don't know, was it British? It was It was in England as well, yes. Oh, oh Elizabeth is there. She's just gently in the background, you were there. You have a, you grow pineapples. And we were on, whose stream were we on? And Elizabeth was saying her her family have grown pineapples in this um, part of where, where she lives um, for generations. And you're thinking of taking some, maybe of the seeds as well, and the plants and replanting them. Mm. Can you imagine? I looked in my pantry today and I have, oh, you could use the labels from a tin of pineapples. I notice I've got two tins of pineapple. I like tin pineapple on my porridge. Mm. And Janet B says she thinks she saw play school in Canada as well. Sorry to leave you out. I'm sure the, our American friends and our French friend here, you've probably got your favourite TV shows when you were little. It was probably Sesame Street, wasn't it, for you? Mm. I know, I think it's so cool that Elizabeth and her family have always grown pineapples. I think it's so cute that Elizabeth's here today and we've got the prompt is pineapples. This is why I'm storing my stickers. That's what I was just saying at the moment. It's a book that Ben bought me when I was making like a little scrapbook for my mum. It's got William Morris in. So I just, I'm just stapling the sheets of stickers so I can always get my hand on them. And I noticed I had these ones and I think there's a pineapple in here as well. Mm. Oh, right. Laura said Romper Room was a great TV show when you were a kid. See, I've got, we including the um, American ones. Yeah, in Western Australia, you had the same as ours. That's amazing. I'm going to put a watermelon on here just because I can. Oh, I'm loving this page already. And oh, I'm going to have tropical vibes. I'm loving that. Not that that goes with a mushroom house, but that's fine. Let's see, did I have, oh, and I have a pineapple and they're shiny. I am loving that. <laughs> let's, let's cut this one out though, because it's a rather nice, oh, it's a beautiful, oh, take that off. A beautiful botanical paintings. And it's, oh, see, I've ripped it out of the magazine. I wonder if this is a queue. Can you see the architecture? It's of a building and it's got like a pineapple top. We might be able to look up where that is. I'll try and find out. But isn't, look at that architecture. That's an actual pen and ink drawing of, um, of a, an actual building. Gosh. Laura, since you're old, you watch Mr. Kangaroo, says Dar. Mr. Kangaroo, what about Skippy? Skippy, Skippy, Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. <laughs> we got that for, uh, from Australia. Oh, the program I used to watch. Um, 
when I was a little girl, what about Casey Jones, steaming and rolling? <laughs> that was, oh, I used to love that. Captain Kangaroo, says Becky W. Romper Room, yes, says Cheryl. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, says um, Janet Nash. <laughs> oh, Susan. <laughs> Laura said that, bless her. Mm. Fun memories. And we can write these down. That's what I do, that we were... Um, oh, I will go back in the chat and I will collect those memories. It's not like me because I'm not usually a journaler or a writer, but um, I will collect those memories and put them in there. Ah, oh. watch with mother. Oh, yes. Puckles wood and the wooden tops. Oh, the wooden tops were on television. Oh, please look up. Now, let me see if we can get, I could put a link to that. Wooden tops. Oh, look. Are they the ones that had the wooden tops? Did they have Bill and Ben and the flower pot men? Oh, oh, what memories. Little weed. Oh, so funny. I think I might like to cut this bit out. Oh, yes. See, the prompts are just as well. They just help us share our memories, don't they? Joe loves hearing that we I watch Skippy. Oh, I used to love Skippy. <laughs> oh, and then America in America now Skippy. I like Skippy peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> Get that from Costco. That's American. I had that in America. <laughs> Big jars of Skippy. <laughs> Weebles wobble, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. <laughs> they die. All our little memories here. We love it. I, do you know, I'm wondering whether that's a part of the great thing about these prompts. We usually make, end up making a list, don't we? I, I am making lists of fav your favourite plants and, oh, what have got, got in here? And I, I'll be reading them back to you. <laughs> at some stage. Mm. You have a debate over crunchy or cre creamy peanut butter. <laughs> when you say peanut butter, you literally are making me now feel quite hungry. I love peanut butter. <laughs> Which one do you go for, Laura? <laughs> I like both. I like both. I can't, yeah. Hmm. Oh, right. OK, you didn't like the sound. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Memories, different memories bring back. Yeah, I know. I know. I can understand that. Dale. Hmm. A childhood memories journal. Julia. What an amazing idea that would be. Oh, wow. My, do you remember when Katie bought me that Reminisce magazine? It was from all over the world. I wonder whether there's like a Reminisce magazine that you can get that would have these pictures in of our favourite TV shows. Mm. You can't remember. It was too long ago. Oh, no. Don't say that, Janice. You're you're just Janet B. You're just 21. Some people remember more things than others, though, don't they? Some people don't remember many things when they're childhood at all. I know. Right, let's pop that there. Oh, gee, what a whimsical page. I love this. <laughs> yes. Um, Elizabeth thinks that is a great idea, great idea to sh share with the family. And I've saved one pineapple. And when I go today to, to this week to make an envelope, I should put that on as a memory of our, our time together. Do you know, we've been chatting so much. Let me just stick a pineapple on here. A sticker, just because I can. I'm loving.
and put those together because I would like to make some envelopes because I think that would be fun. You see your childhood memories all the time because you live in the same place. Well, I because I'm going back to visit my mum regularly, I'm walking around the town and getting going in the, in the streets and getting to know the town. Changed a bit though. 21 in your mind, says Janet B. That's right. Hmm. Mm. All the more reason to journal and keep those memories, says Elizabeth. We've got we've got three more prompts, and um, so mm. you did. That's it. No, no regrets. You did what was right. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. So, oh no! How interesting is this? A gorgeous card here. It's had other prompts on it, but it says create a journaling space. Now, if you're just doing a collage, don't feel any pressure that you have to write anything. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'm going to just make some little lines here and to do some writing on. How amazing. And I have made a journaling space, but if you don't want to write, don't feel any pressure. Oh, Sue says, have you been to what? To, no, ja Sue says, have I been to see the Van Gogh um, art in London? And it's in Bristol with you and hubby. You, you and hubby are going. I haven't even seen the Frida Kahlo one. No, it, it's where it moves. It's interactive. Mm. Is coming to London, and then you're going to wait till it comes to Bristol. Thank you for the recommendation. I will look into that. So don't let me forget. Yes, yeah, mm. Mm. yeah. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Wonderful. Enjoy. Mm. Enjoy. So it creates a journaling space, and I will tell you the other prompts and I will be doing those as I go that we've got yarn that's for us that would be wool or yarn if you haven't got any yarn ribbon or cut up cotton cut up your hubby shirt as Beth or Kimberly would do <laughs> oh dear. and then oh how Funny. No, I thought it said flamingo. No, it doesn't say flamingo. Oh, how interesting. It says harmony. Hmm, interesting. So we've got yarn and harmony. So I've just given you those six prompts before we just move on to pop in numbers. Hmm. Um, You would love to see both of those. You have the Picasso art exhibit here and you will go to see that. I will look into it. Oh, Elizabeth's been to the Van Gogh experience. Oh, how amazing. You, your gems, your little one's got it for you. Yes, yeah, yarn and harmony. So that's the harmony. That will just make you think, you could draw your page together to make a harmony or you could be thinking about music or festivities. Beck is coming in with a number. Aunt Beck's wonderful. Come in with more numbers, everybody, and we'll we'll send off some happy mail. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love that. So you can do the prompts at your leisure. Don't forget we've got Becky's up there. Um, at number 58 and then other people are coming in I've been making making some envelopes I don't know whether you saw my little video but I finished them off this is just my little collage and of course I had to add a toucan it's just bits and pieces from the desk and lots of just nice I don't know it's got some good vibes in it because I was just very relaxed doing it. Thank you, Janet. Popping in numbers for yourself as well. And that's fantastic. And pop some now, pop some numbers in for other people. Anybody it doesn't need to be people that have been here, but just somebody you'd like me to send happy mail to. 
Yes, <laughs> that's lovely. Mm. So, gosh, I'm loving. Let me show you this page so far, and I will continue to do those prompts. I feel it's coming together. <laughs> I'm loving it. Thank you. You put one in for Cat, who's not here, and Kim is. Oh, it's lovely. Is Cheryl still here and Beth? Um, yeah, all for your mum. Oh, yes. I sent her a little postcard, but we can always be sending um, happy mail to, to your lovely mum, Mary, can't we? The address is in Becky's group. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, anybody? Oh, you're here. She's here. Pop a number in, Cheryl, dear. It's tropical. I know. It's a, it's interesting because it's quite a fun. Oh, but, oh, oh, well spotted. I just thought it was a forest, but you're right. These are tropical plants. Well, oh, how amazing. Gosh, what it, it's, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> That's all I can say. And this is the other one. It's just a painted um, envelope, but I've been doodling on it, and I will send that off. It's a tropical 4th of July page. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, dear. Or however you want to make it. Oh, let me know when we've all had numbers. And, and Dixie's not here. I am doing something for the replayers. Don't worry. I've got I've got you sorted. And the gentle listeners can always just message me um, privately if they feel they want to um, receive some happy mail. That's never a problem. Random. I can't even spell random. Random number. And then I can send some happy mail. A plan coming together without a plan. No! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together that hasn't even got a plan. <laughs> oh, for busy a number. Janet says stop. <laughs> but because of the lag, if you come in in a minute, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. Lovely, lovely. Right, let me generate a number between one and a hundred. Oh, I'm loving that. And I can pop all these little bits and pieces in that are on the desk and that I've been doing. Right, let's generate the number. Number 65. Who has got 65? Oh, look, I've put 65 on my thing and I've put a little heart around it. <laughs> oh, dear. Who's got number 65? This is fun. And we'll pop some, pop some little bits and pieces in that we've been making this week. How lovely in these. Let's put a sticker sheet in as well so people have got that to use. Let's put one in. Oh, with a pineapple. But then again, by the time you've got it, by the time. Oh, this is a lovely. Oh, that one's got elephant sloths and parrots. Wow. That's got it all going on there. Wonderful. Oh. And I'm going to put that pineapple. Sorry, so Aunt Bex had 58. Lovely. So that I'm going to send some happy mail to Becky. How wonderful. Oh, Becky, I will set I'll send the little fabric bobbin, and that can go on your um it can go on your fabric scroll <laughs> it took a while but i got there in the end wonderful let me just generate another number because um it what colleen who who is in australia wanted to be here today but it's so late for her um she'll be on replay she we chat i have lots of wonderful chats in the comments and it's lovely lovely chats and advice and oh, i love it and so i make a note each week now of the people that um comment on the videos and that's lovely and especially for the replayers, um, so they get a chance to join in. But it's for everybody that comments as well. 
Um, so I need to generate a number between 1 and 42. Um, and I generate that and it says generate and it says 20. So number 20, my list is Kathy Cow. So I'm going to be sending Kathy Cow. I've oh, done another heart. Kathy Cow. Kathy C. Goes on to another name now. Um, Calico Kate, I think. <laughs> That's lovely, really lovely. And let me let me just do another number. Oh, can you get back to the other numbers? If I generate another one between one and a hundred, can you get back to them? Because I, I'm going to make a postcard from the prompts because I think they're such fun prompts. I think they'd make a nice postcard. I want to send that to somebody between one and a hundred. They're from the other numbers. I'm going to generate. Who um, was nearest to 67? Gosh, they're very close. And this is, I'm going to make a postcard to send. Can we get back up there? Or have they lost off the top of the chat? <laughs> Can we find the numbers? Hi, Joyce. So nice to see you. Come on in. Happy 4th of July. Joyce keeps forgetting it's Monday. Oh, Seriously, I never know what day it is. Seriously. No, I I am with you there, Joyce. <laughs> I think maybe a lot of us are. Oh, yes. That, that was a replay. I actually suggested that. So, and it is lovely. And it is lovely. Janet B had 68. <laughs> That's lovely. So I'm going to send ja Janet B as in Janet Canada. Janet B, Canada. I'm going to send you a postcard and it will be on your doorstep when you will arrive home. Unless you want to email me and tell me your address at your son's and I can send you a postcard to your son's maybe. See how, see how you feel. See how you feel. Right. So um, Janet B, Canada. Janet Canada as opposed to Janet USA. <laughs> There we are. Have I, have I got it right? Um, that would be cool. I will email you. Loving that. Oh, I can take my apron off now. It's getting, it's getting a little hotter. Oh, look, let me move this. Sorry, Penny Angelica. People still want to see you. Um, but they want to see Freddie too. Let's move you over. Scooch over a bit so people can see dear little Freddie. Safe journey on your travels. Um, and we'll see you in chat when you arrive back from your, your summer vacation. <laughs> Safe move, um, Elizabeth. Hope it all goes smoothly. And to all the lovely, lovely um, Americans here, happy 4th of July. <laughs> Janet, USA, thank you for your help and thank you for being you. <laughs> Take care, Joyce. Take care. Janice, oh, nice to see you. Now, oh, yes, Janet Burgess. Did I read it wrong? Um, if I read it wrong, just message me and we'll, us, we'll sort that out. Oh, Marilyn's passing round the watermelon. Have a wonderful time. Dar, nice to see you. Oh, bye, everybody. Take care. Have a lovely day. Jean. Oh, but also I'm recognising that holiday times can also be a hard time for people. And there's memories and loss. and sending sending you love if that's the case too donna oh that was a fun stream you had yesterday nice to see you mm. oh pickles i don't know whether we're going over to rebecca because rebecca's on holiday at the moment so I don't think we're taking the bus over to rebecca's today mary oh happy fourth of july to you mary oh so nice to see you Night, night, Joe. Take care. Take care. And I think Pam's gone to sleep already. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Ah, 
Yes, Sylvia says, Sylvia over there in France is saying happy Independence Day. Yeah, nice to see you too, Sylvia. Bye, Karen. Ah, oh, you take care. <laughs> Cheryl, you take care too. Healing vibes to you. <laughs> oh. hmm. We'll sit here, shall we, and say goodbye to people. We'll say gently, leave, leave the room. That's really lovely. <laughs> Oh, right. Bye, everyone. Oh, Freddie says, what, what? <laughs> I'm going to eat my cake. <laughs> oh, take care, everyone. Mm. Happy rain and no fireworks, Gail. Oh, right. Yes. If it rain, there won't be fireworks and it's scared for doggies, I know. <laughs> and the pussy cats, yeah. Hmm. Hugs all around, says Sylvia. I agree. <laughs> Take care, everyone.